Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft mod tutorial. In today's episode we are going to be creating the custom sapling which then after the tree generation episode will spawn our tree. So let's get started. Obviously we're going to have to add the block sapling which we're going to be using variants once again to get multiple different variants of the sapling. So add sapling onto our block string here. Exactly the same as before, sapling equals new block sapling sapling. We're going to have to register block with variants once again. And also register the render in the same way. Now we're going to have to create the custom block sapling. And put it in our dot blocks dot trees folder. This is going to extend block bush. Which is what the block sapling extends. And it's going to implement iGrowable as it grows into our tree. And of course, iMetaName, which is the interface we created in the first episode of this mini series. Now, just quickly change block bush to block sapling. Hover over while holding control and click and you'll open the block sapling class and then change it back to bot blush. We're going to need a few things from the block sapling class. We're going to need this stage property and also its axis aligned BV, which is the um, hitbox. So paste those two in. And we are also going to need, once again, from custom block log, copy the property enum from here. Once again, this number is less than the number of variants you have, but you can only go up to a maximum of four. If you haven't created the enum type custom bot planks, then go and watch the first video of the tutorial. We are then going to need the constructor. So to click control space and click custom block sapling. Then write string name as we need the unlocalized name and the registry name. So set them both. And then we're going to need to set the default state. This dot set default state. This dot block state dot get base state dot with property variant. Custom block planks dot enum type and then whatever the default you want to have minus tutorial as the default then another property dot with property stage integer dot value of zero as the default stage you want it to be zero these two stages represent is it ready to go is it ready to grow but is it not ready to grow or it's ready to grow. So it's just a normal sapling, or it's a sapling that ne needs to go into a tree. Now gets bounding box, return sapling AABB, and get collision bounding box. Since you can just walk straight through saplings, we're gonna return null AABB. A couple more functions to do with the saplings, its shape is opaque cube, we're going to return false as it is not a cube and is full cube. Same thing, we're going to return false. So I'm just going to comment a few of these things. So this is to do with sapling shape. And the next section is going to be to do with variant. So once again, we're going to go and copy get sub blocks from the custom block log as it's always the same in all of our variant classes and we can also copy damage dropped and get special name now once again we're obviously going to need get state from meta this is going to be quite simple return this dot get default state dot with property variant 
custom dot planks dot enum type dot by metadata meta and and then one less than the number the number of um I don't know to be, be more accurate just the highest ID of metadata meta and one for me as if we think about it if we go into my enum type here the highest ID is one if you had four here the highest ID would be three and then dot with property up out of here dot with property stage then integer dot value of meta I open open bracket meta and eight two arrows three to be completely and perfectly honest with you I have no idea what this actually means I just this is, comes from the default sapling code so I use it and it works it's probably to do with it this being nine or the highest ID of the stage is eight but I'm really really not sure get meta from state the opposite of get state from meta this one's a bit more complicated int i equals zero i is equal to i or is equal to custom dot planks dot enum type state dot get value variant dot get meta and then i is equal to i or integer state dot get value stage dot int value three with double arrows pointing towards it return i don't question the code i really don't understand how it works but it's how minecraft works and it's how things how my default sapling code works so that's why i use it obviously we're gonna have to create the block state we're going to return a new block state container, this, and a new i property array of variant and stage. Control Shift O and import i property. And now we're going to have the tree code. This will actually generate a tree, but this is to do with it growing into a tree. We'll create the the backup backup functions first, and then we'll create the actual function the, to grow. A few things that I grow will requires can grow. Just return true, as it's a sapling. Can use bone meal. This uses a math calculation to calculate how far away the player is, return a double value, world in dot rand dot next float is less than 0.45d. So this doesn't calculate how far the player is. This is just a random, can you use bone meal? Has it been, has it um, been enough time since the last time to use bone meal? And then can sustain bush. For now we can leave this as super but we can either do that or we can look inside of can sustain bush and just return everything it has here which in the future when we create our own custom biome if you have your own blocks that can sustain a bush so a grass block or a dirt block or a farmland block or whatever any block that's meant to be that can sustain grass or saplings or anything like that then you can update this to add another or state dot get block is equal to blah de blah any of your blocks so I when I kept my custom biome I have a custom dirt and a custom grass so I added the state dot get block my dirt and state dot get block my grass and so they can sustain a bush now that's out of the way I'm going to move those down as we're going to have the two biggest functions row if then open brackets again 
integer, I think this would be triple brackets, integer state dot get value stage dot integer value is equal to zero. World in dot set block state pause and state dot cycle property state comma four. If we hover over this, we can see that is int flags. Flag four will prevent the, the block from being re-rendered in the client world. So basically, it doesn't do anything. If, if it's in state zero, then it shouldn't be growing. So it cycles it back around again. Else, this dot generate tree. Which is the function we're now going to create which will actually generate the tree. Public void generate tree. World world. Random rand. Block pause. Pause. And I block state. State. And add these arguments to this generate tree function here and it should have no errors. The first thing is a checker. If terrain gen dot sapling grow tree world rand pause return. Not ret run, return. Now world generator gen is equal to open world generator then open brackets again random dot next int 10 is equal to zero question mark new world gen big tree false colon new world gen tree false and import world generator with control shift to no. What this is doing is just setting the default world generator as the normal world gen tree. It's meant to be the normal world gen trees. There we are. Um, and it can be a world gen big tree as well. But this won't actually ever use this but we just have to set it as default anyway. And also boolean flag is equal to false. We're now going to switch custom block flags to enum type. State dot get value variant. And then we do case and then your variant. So case tutorial gen equals new world gen tutorial tree and then case aluminium you don't have to actually put anything I'm going to comment this out as we won't have this done until next episode and make sure you put a break in between for all your variants put the gen is equal to new world gen and the generator or you can just comment this out until we do it in the next episode. I block state. I block state is equal to blocks dot air. Air is a block dot get default state. If flag. So if the flag is true, world dot set block state. Pause dot add zero zero zero. This is unnecessary, but we put it there anyway because we need to copy it three times. One zero 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 one and one zero one. Else world dot set block state. Pause state and four. If gen dot generate world rand pause
pause but with a not on the, at the start of the exclamation mark then basically copy everything we just wrote there inside of here that is that whole function done we should have no more errors in this class and we can close all the classes from now on we're obviously going to have to create the models you have to know these ones are a bit more simple so copy log and call it sapling and it's not going to be axis it's going to be stage equals zero stage equals one so we need a stage zero and a stage one for each they're all going to be the same model they won't be the same model they'll all be but the stage zero and stage one will be an identical model sapling tutorial and sapling aluminium And that's the block states file done. Lang once again, we need to add them, it's pretty easy. Exactly the same as before. Now for the block model, it's going to be something completely different. Create a new file called sapling uh, tutorial. It's going to be a parent block cross. That's what the sapling is. And the textures for cross is going to be TM blocks sapling tutorial. Like that. Copying that, creating an aluminium version, and changing this to aluminium. Now the item model is going to be a bit different. We're still going to copy this anyway and create a new one called sapling tutorial. They can delete everything. I'm going to copy it in from my default. It's from my um, test mod. It's going to be a normal item generated, parent item generated, textures, and then layer zero is going to be TM blocks sapling tutorial. And then copy it and paste it again. Sapling aluminium is going to be the same thing, just like that. I already have my textures in, in my textures blocks. You place it in here, sapling aluminium, sapling tutorial. There's only two textures you require. And run the game if I have no errors. If I have no problems, I should have any errors in the console. Our saplings won't generate yet as we haven't created our custom tree classes, but they will in the next episode after we've created them. So if you have enjoyed this episode or found it useful, Please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, my name's been Harry, and goodbye.